From the Hornets' horrible performance over the last 10 years to fans' bizarre claims of its owner being broke, here's the real reason Michael Jordan has to sell the Charlotte Hornets. According to ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski, Jordan is in the process of finalizing a deal to sell the Hornets. So you already know social media is coming up with wild conspiracies for why he's leaving the team. But the reason might be extremely straightforward. After all, the only thing the Hornets have been consistent at over the last few years is their horrible performance. Since 2010, MJ's been the majority owner of the Hornets, but the team's performance has been a roller coaster ride, to say the least. And despite his legendary status as a Chicago Bulls icon, plus his own success on the court, the franchise has struggled to score wins under Jordan's leadership, with just three seasons finishing above 0.500 since 2010. The team's inconsistency has frustrated everybody involved. The reality is that the Hornets have failed to make an impact on the NBA. Many people had hoped hoped that with players like LaMelo Ball joining the team, things would change. But with Miles Bridges leaving the league and Ball being injured, it's like they're back at square one. And after the 2023 playoffs, fans actually started feeling bad for MJ. Back in 2006, when he joined the organization, he had high hopes for the franchise. So for a player who embodies the winning mentality, going 6-0 in NBA Finals and losing only one playoff series after his first championship, it's not surprising that the lack of success finally got to him. Jordan must be frustrated by what he's witnessed as an owner. Attend any Hornets game and you'll see it written on his face. So it looks like after years of disappointment and the realization that he's used all his ideas to turn the franchise around, he's finally made the tough decision to sell his majority stake. But hey, at least he's going to be making major bank out of this sale. And according to industry insiders, that might also be the biggest reason why he's going ahead with this. Jordan became the majority owner in 2010 when he bought the franchise for a decent $275 million. Fast forward to 2022, and Forbes estimated that the Hornets were valued at an insane $1.7 billion. While this ranked the team 27th out of 30 in terms of value, it was still a major step up for them. To put it in perspective, the recent sale of the Phoenix Suns saw them change hands for a hefty $2.28 billion. But in comes Jordan, like the legend he is, and scores an incredible deal that values the team at $3 billion. Talk about a return on investment. Investment. Reports suggest that Jordan's sale of a 31% stake would easily get him over 500 mil. And if he sells a 59% stake, he could rake in over a billion dollars. But Michaels also confirmed that once the sale is finalized, he's still going to be involved with the team one way or another, just on a smaller scale. Plus, he'll also oversee basketball operations during the crucial draft and free agency periods. Sounds like a win-win situation, right? And the organization's newest owners have game-changing ideas for the Hornets. But they might not be what the former owner had in mind for them. So here's the deal. With Michael stepping away from the franchise and passing the torch to a new group of investors, many industry insiders think things are about to change. And leading the charge are investors, Gabe Plotkin and Rick Schnall, along with rapper Jay Cole and country music singer Eric Church. Plotkin, who founded Tallwood Capital, has been a minority owner of the team since 2019 and served on the NBAs. On the other hand, Schnall is the sole president of Clayton Dubillier and Rice and has been a minority minority owner of the Atlanta Hawks, so he'll be selling his investment in the Hawks to join the board. Schnall's previous ties to the Atlanta franchise could turn things around for the Hornets because he was involved in getting Travis Schlenk as the Hawks general manager in 2017. And with Schlenk leaving the Hawks in 2022, there's a chance the Hornets might go through major shuffling if he joins. But wait, there's more. These new owners might also be the solution to one of the team's biggest criticism. 50 -50 ball. Those Warriors way. Domingo, the seventh pick in the draft this summer. Jalen McDaniels using his link. Jordan's lack of spending. Charlotte's been one of the league's lowest spenders, especially when it comes to things like hotels for the players, sports science staff, front office staff, and even coaching salaries. Well, that's about to change because the new owners are set on bringing the Hornets up to speed and letting them catch up with the rest of the NBA. So you can imagine how excited fans are for the change. They say that even though Jordan's a great player, he's a terrible team owner. Evan Kent, who's the mastermind behind the Crown Club, one of the most famous Hornets fan clubs, has been very vocal about the shift. He believes that Hornets fans have been patient throughout Jordan's reign as the majority owner, mainly because of his local ties and his incredible success on the court as a player. But let's face it, even the most patient fans eventually want to see a win for their team. And I'll be honest, Charlotte's fans are amazing for the way they've handled the entire situation. But the time has come for a change. 
Lynch, and even his heirness knows that. With the new owners, Hornets fans are buzzing with hope. They see this ownership transition as a fresh start. But while most fans are thankful to MJ for all his contributions over the years, some aren't that positive about it. In fact, many people are saying that his selling the Hornets is another way of running away from his failures, just like he did with the Washington Wizards. Back in 2000, he purchased a 10% stake in the team and its arena for a massive $100 million. He'd hoped to not only boost the team's performance, but also increase its popularity. Unfortunately, his time with the Wizards didn't go quiet as planned. During his two-season comeback as a player from 2001 to 2003, Jordan failed to lead the Wizards to the playoffs. He also faced challenges with teammates and coaches, and his questionable personnel decisions, like drafting Kwame Brown as the first overall pick in 2001, didn't help matters either. He also traded Richard Hamilton away for Jerry Stackhouse, which raised some eyebrows. As the president of basketball operations, Jordan's time with the Wizards didn't go smoothly either. In 2003, he sold his stake in the team and was immediately fired by the majority owner, Abe Pollin, who wanted to rebuild without him. All in all, Jordan reportedly lost a substantial $40 million from his investment in the Wizards. Sound a little familiar? Jordan's critics argue that he's doing the exact same thing with the Hornets. When times get tough, he decides to cut his losses and run. I get that this sounds pretty harsh, but his critics do have a point. I mean, with how sudden the announcement was, you can't blame fans for wondering if something else is going on behind the scenes. And like always, they're coming up with the wildest conspiracy theories yet. But the most bizarre one that's come to light is that MJ made the sale because he's dead broke. And the man at the center of all the drama is TikToker Rico Knows, who's been exposing Jordan ever since the news broke out. He says that recent financial troubles might have pushed MJ into this decision. So let's do a deep dive into what he's talking about. Back in 2021, when the whole Reddit users versus Wall Street fiasco happened with GameStop, many people got caught up in the drama, losing $500 million after shorting GameStop stock. But while the video game retailers managed to bounce back, those who bet against it have been struggling. And one of those individuals was Michael Jordan. This financial setback put the six-time NBA champion in major trouble, because despite his other investments and the money he earns from Nike, his net worth dropped by $500 million during that time. And to complicate matters even more, Rico Knows claims that he owes money to Gabe Plotkin, the man who's set to become one of the new Hornets owners. It sounds bizarre, but fans are eating up this story like anything. And either way, only time will tell if Michael really did quit the team because he was in way over his head. So there you have it, from fans' bizarre claims of its owner being broke to the Hornets' horrible performance over the last 10 years, that's the real reason Michael Jordan has to sell the Charlotte Hornets.